we are going to be discussing about mirrored volume and RAID 5. So what is a mirrored volume? A mirrored volume is a fault tolerant volume that duplicates your data on two or more physical disks. A mirrored, a mirrored volume provides redundancy by simultaneously writing the same data onto two or more separate mirrors that reside on different disks. So let's try to create a mirrored volume from our disk management. So from your disk manage management, just right click. You can see I have several disks here. So but what you want to do, I want to actually convert my disk, basic disk to dynamic disk. So let me just select and convert this as well to dynamic disk. And then I'm going to select that. I want to convert all this disk to a dynamic disk because to be able to actually use the mirrored or mirrored volume or rate 5 you would definitely need need a dynamic disk so what you need to do is right click and here you can see we have the new mirrored volume so let's click next and we're going to actually select one disk and then click add so now we're going to say next we can call this the give this the letter e and then click next and then we can decide to just call this data and then perform a quick format click next and finish by clicking finish it's going to actually create a new volume but mind you you can see it says here we have data you see we still have 16 megabytes unallocated so what happens is this so we now have just 10 gigabytes of space and we created used two disk which of course should be 20 gigabytes but now you now have a disk available so the information is being written to both disk at the same time so if for example one of these disks should something could, could go wrong goes wrong you still have a separate disk available to be able to recover your information so now let, let's discuss about raid 5 that's the raid 5 so raid 5 is a redundant array of independent disk configuration that uses disk striping with parity because data has data and parity are striped 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 ever Evenly across all of the disk, no single disk is a bottleneck. It's a bottleneck. So striping also allows you to reconstruct data in case of a disk failure. So the RAID 5 helps you to actually build parity. It also helps in redundancy. But mind you, you need three or more disks to be able to create a RAID 5 disk. So what I'm going to do right now is well, we still have about uh, three disks available. But at the same time, I can decide to just click and then delete the mirrored volume we've created in this test environment and then decide to create a RAID 5 volume. Here you can see we have the option called new RAID 5 volume. So let me just click next and then we can decide to select uh, this. You can see we have all the option to select multiple disk as well. So let me just click next. I'm going to call this the I and then next. And let me just call it let's say we need to actually copy software i'm going to perform a quick format and click finish and it's going to actually say the operation so let's say we convert the basic disk to a dynamic disk if the disk have not been converted and here we go i'm going to say next you can see we have some disks that we are not converted so let me just click next and our disk is being created here we go you can see right now we just created our read five volume so that is actually showing us the color there so if i open file explorer you can see we have a red five so it combines you can see we have about 40 gigabytes of disk so it combines and i use one two three four five and here you can see what it's actually showing us just 40 gigabytes so which means that the data have been striped to all the disk that are available so when something goes wrong you also in case of any disk failure you still have the ability to use one of those disks to recover your files 